Yay, we're here with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, and we're here on Blazing Wise channel. As you see, my team consists of a Gastrodon, a Noivern, a Go-Goat, Infernape, Espeon, and Miss Magius. We are fighting a guy named Carter, for, who is also running an Espeon and Noibat. But he also comes with the Gallade, the Mottweil, the Roserade, and Dragalge. Or Dragalge. Whatever you like to pronounce it. I always have trouble pronouncing Pokemon, Pokemon names. But anyway, let's get on to it. Let's go, Carter. Carter. Alright, Carter. Let's see what you got. Carter's rocking a nightcap and a sweater. Nice and... I start off with Gastrodon. Just because Gastrodon is just so freaking amazing. And he starts with his Poison Dragon type, so I can go right for an Ice Beam. <laughs> Uh, which I have speed, but it's pretty specially bulky, and I freeze it. I've got to freeze it. It's a popsicle right now. I don't know what made me do this. I went for a scald. So after I freeze something, why do I go for a hot water after? That was dumb. But he went for surf anyway. So like, yay, special attack boost. And I use ice beam again. You saw the, how the first one did, right? All right, yeah. With the plus one, I wasn't. There was no way I was not killing Mr. Galgi. Now she brings out the rose. Now he brings out Rose Raid. Guess he didn't want to switch in on an Ice Beam. That would not have been good. So I immediately go for Go Go, expecting the Grass type move because this thing has Sap Sipper. And he goes for Mega Drain. So I get a little Attack Rise. I go for the Aerial Ace. Whoosh, whoosh. Which it lives, amazingly. But this thing goes for Sludge Bomb, and I'm like, oh, shiz. No! There goes 203 health out the water right then and there. It's gone. Go, go, no! So I go into my no even. It goes for the Dragon Pulse just to kill, because I know I outspeed. Down goes the Roserade. Aw, so pretty. Next up, we got another Noivan. Chris for a sharp beak. Chris me, no. So I went out into my, went out because I didn't know if I got speed or if I would lose the speed tie or something. So I got out in Gastrodon and he just DPs right in front of me. Do not Dragon Pulse me because I'm gonna eat that up. Eating. Mm. Not only do I eat that, I eat my leftovers, get a little recovery back just because. She withdraws because she fears my ice beam. And now I'm just freely right here. So she bring, he brings out a Japanese Mottweil. Ooh, you're gonna hurt my physical attack. That doesn't really matter. I'm going for recover. Because I know he's not gonna stay in with Noivern while he knows I have ice beam. So he goes for a play rough. I'm not physically defensive, but I take this relatively kind of well. And it was a crit too. I go for my earthquake. Make them shake, shake like an earth, earth, quite, quite. Oh my god, that was horrible. I go, no, I left these recovery. I'm not sure if I'll live another one, so I'm like, Gastrodon, why don't you come out back here? But I go for Miss Magius. Goes for a play rough. My reasoning for bringing in Miss Magius here is I hope I get a Will O Wisp off and hurt this damn thing's uh, physical attack. Because if you burn something, that means you half its attack. Which is nice. I like that. So he gets a crit uh, play rough on my little, you know, my substitute. But I do get the Will-O-Wisp off. Hooray. Then this thing goes finally for crunch. I was starting to think this thing was choice banded. Because it went all time for play rough. But I guess it has crunch too. So down goes my Miss Magius. Oof. That's a lot. I gotta burn this thing. Even though this thing just I saw had crunch, I go into my Espeon, hoping that I kill with this Psyshock. But Steel resists Psychic for some reason. I don't think Steel should resist Psychic. Because Psychics bend spoons. And that's a good metal. Even though that's not really a good example, I still think it shouldn't be resistant. I just think normal damage. I'm not thinking Psychic should be, you know, super effective, but I just think you shouldn't resist me. 
So this thing brings out his Espeon, so I'm like, no, he probably carries a Shadow Ball. And that's gonna kill me. And I don't carry Shadow Ball. So I get him a Gastrodon. Goes for a bite, which I eat up. Mmm, yummy. Lefty's recovery. And knowing this thing can't do much to me, even though with a Psychic, I'm gonna hang on with a little bit of HP. I go for my recover. Boom. Got all my HP back, and I'm getting a little more. I heal with 12 HP by the end of each turn, and that works a really lot. Goes for another Psychic. This one does a little more, so I go from right for my Scald. I should have gone for another Recover, just to know I'll be safe. Which is relatively weird, but I guess not. I'm just like, oh crap, Gastrodon. Still need to save you because you're amazing. So I go right in my Noivern. Goes right for a Psychic. Knew that one. But Noivern takes that pretty well on the chin. So I go right for my DP. Which doesn't kill the damn Espeon. And he gets another Psychic off, which kills. I thought it would be able to kill with the Dragon Pulse, but no! Wait, I actually hang out with two. I forgot this battle still happened a long time ago. Another DP for you when you're dead. Like, yay! But, boo. Alright, he brings out his Gallade, and I go right for a Hurricane, and I hit it. I'm just like YOLOing mode at Noivern, and it pays off because I just killed the Gallade easily. So he sent in his Noivern. This is probably a speed tie, but mine's like, I know mine's faster. So I go right for my Dragon Pulse. Boosh! And I don't kill, unfortunately. Then he goes for his Dragon Pulse. We just exchanged hits right there, and I obviously lose. Fortunate. Unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It really is. So I send in my Gastrodon. Just to clean up a little bit. Goes for a Dragon Pulse. And I think this actually kills my Gastrodon, if I'm correct. Yeah, but kills it, because it was great. So my poor Gastrodon just... I didn't want to use it for Death Fodder, but it ended up being Death Fodder. So unfortunate. Now this is get the part where I was like, oh man. So it was like, okay, you missed my Dazzling Gleam, but I have Protect. Sad for you. So it goes for Fly. I Protect myself. He goes for another Fly. He flew up high. I go for Dazzling Gleam. I miss. Oh my god, it was so annoying. I go for Protect. Wow, this is an exciting part of the battle, isn't it? Goes for fly. I protect myself. No brain goes for roost. Since I knew he was gonna fly again, I thought I was like, ah, I might as well set up for one turn. But he goes for the roost, and I was like, no! He got all his health back. But I go for my calm mind, boost in my special attack and special defense. Just because. This thing goes for fly. I'm like, this is a constant cycle, so I'm like, I'm gonna Calm Mind again, just because. Even though Calm Mind boosts special defense and flies a physical move, I'm still going for it, just because. So let, finally he's gonna land this fly, and I live with 14 HP, and I go for Dazzling Gleam, and plus two, down goes Norvorn. It's gone, it's all gone, it's all gone. Boom. So I defeated Carter. Yep, that's how it went. Uh, I still had Infernape still in the back. It just was still there. I couldn't send that thing in on the Noivern because that wasn't going to do anything, but Gastrodon, Noivern, Gogo, Miss Magius, y'all did awesome. Uh, thank you for burning the Mottweil. Thank you for just being an, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Thank you for just like, you know, I still have you in the back. It's okay, it's okay. And Go go! You just took that awesomely. Even though you didn't get the kill, you just did a smart play for me. No, even you just did a lot of work, didn't you? And Gastrodon, you don't even need to be mentioned. You're already fine. Anyway, guys, this has been another day of a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, and I hope you guys will stick around to enjoy some more. Peace out. As you know, Blazing here. I'ma see you later.